Five years ago now. Oh, understand. Since then, you're running away from yourself. Since then, I've been looking for a new wife. One that I can have kids with and live a really normal life. Like in the early evening serials, you know? Yeah, well... I don't guess many people long for such a life. How did you come up with this story? Don't resent this, but I'm here every week. There are many travelers who pass through and order a drink and want to chat. The story I told you is the story I get to hear from every other visitor here. Unfortunately, you're nothing special. People sitting on their own in the airport bar, without baggage, not being in a particular hurry, without others waiting for them or others waving goodbye to them, are searching for something and trying to flee from something. You were the standard case. The standard case? That sounds pretty harsh. I never looked at it that way. Nice. Jesus Christ, you're a bag of sunshine, aren't you? Can I... Tell me something about yourself. Why are you here? And what are you doing here? At the moment, waiting. Otherwise, communications services. I look after the relay stations for the satellite transmitters. Oh, that's interesting. You service the transmitters' electronic equipment? That probably means you travel a lot, right? Oh, yes, it's really great. Basically, I rarely get to see anything other than airplane cabins, sat cars, hotel rooms, and fuse boxes. Every day I ask myself why I'm still doing what I do. What do you do if you uh, don't have to work? I have to work all the time. Oh, come on. Nobody has to work all the time. You're going to have some days off. I got all the special shifts I could. I make sure that I'm hardly ever at home. I thought you hate your job. Then why do you do this? Because things get too much for me in my damned apartment. No wife, no child laughing, no one. So what am I supposed to do at home? So you would rather hang out at the airport lounge until your shift starts? Yeah, sad, isn't it? I make sure that I'm hardly ever at home. Jesus Christ. Sounds like he's a good case to go kill himself. I... And where are you off to next? That's secret information. I can't tell you that. Regulations. Oh. Your job is top secret, right? Well, secret... Depends how you see it. Most tasks are routine stuff, but today I have to do a special check. Aren't you even allowed to give me a tiny little hint? Well, I can just say that I have to go into a damn dangerous area. Far away, too. The flight will take forever. Every time I hope to return in one piece. And when is your flight leaving? As soon as my colleagues arrive and bring me a new ID card. The autopilot is already programmed. I just have to get in. But I haven't got an ID card for the gate anymore. Did you lose it? It was stolen. That's too bad. How did that happen? You don't want to know. That bad, huh? <sighs> a hooker took it off me. The classic knockout drops trick, you know? Solitude can really turn you into an idiot. Oh, no. A prostitute stole your security ID with the help of knockout drops? Not so loud. It's embarrassing enough as it is. How? What was the woman's name? No idea. Cindy, Chantal, Rosie, Rita, one of those typical fake names. Tell me, Gerald, do you remember where it happened? Somewhere down on the Lower East Side. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I think okay, I know where Gerald. to go next. See you, la See you later. Let's go talk to Rita. Hmm. The guy got rolled. That was quite funny. Na 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 Rita is going to give me an ID card. So I'm thinking I get the ID card, I come back here, I get on the plane or blimp that he was gonna get on and it takes me to one of those relay stations where I will begin poking around and breaking things. Um Lower East Side. Should I? Oh, no, Cypher's gone, hasn't he? I was going to say, should I talk to Cypher about this? But he's already buggered off to uh, Nevada. So I won't be doing that. Hi, Rita. It's me again. I can see that, sweetie. You got another minute for me? Of course, as I still have hope. Tell me, do you know a certain Gerald? Gerald? Gerald who? Gerald Myers. He works for Cargo and Tech Services. Oh, never heard of him. 
Who is he supposed to be? He was one of your recent uh, customers, wasn't he? Hey, what's this all about, sweetie? Have you joined the NYPD lately? Well, was he? Yeah, yeah, he was. He had a security badge on him. You still have it? Why? Because I need it. Do you need a cargo service ID? Can you give it to me? Hey, you would get a lot of cash for that on the black market. Oh, come on. You only get into trouble if you try to sell it. Yeah? And you won't get into any trouble, right? We'll see to that. Okay, you say so. Here, take it. Why, thank you. Hi, Rita. Ah. You got... No, I don't I gotta talk go. to you. Okay. Let's go to the airport. Hmm. I'm not actually sure where, where this will get me. He said, I have to go into a damn dangerous area, but he didn't exactly specify where. There'll be one of these five relay stations. Probably Nevada, I'm guessing, since that's where everybody else has gone. But we shall see. Right. Which one of these terminals was the one for cargo services? Well, I've been through A, I've been through B, I think, or C. Yeah, I've been through there, I've been through there. This is going to be over here on the right. Yeah. Use the ID card. Avoid a strange looking gang. Alright. The, the scanner would. Okay. I should leave my stuff in a safe place. You'll never know what might happen. Damn it. I have to abandon all my items. So I have nothing except a pigeon, a book, a key, and a card. Why the fuck have I still... Well, I haven't used the pigeon yet, have I? Because at some point I will have to send pigeon off with a message. The scanner would like... I can't believe nobody's noticed there's a guy walking around with a pigeon in a jacket yet. I shouldn't take the key either. If I lose it or if somebody takes it... I'll never be able to retrieve my stuff. Oh, well, what the hell am I supposed to do with the key now? Oh, for God's sake. Um, can I put it back in its apartment, maybe? Oh, I don't know, I don't... I mean... Can I set the book on? Oh! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Right, hang on a minute. <laughs> right. Okay, he's put the pigeon with the key. Odd decision, but there you go. That was a bit of luck. I was just about to go all the way back to his apartment and try and put it in the desk drawer. Pigeon free. I just do it anyway. Oh my god, give me the mouse back. Oh, there you go, he said they're free automatically. Nice. Hopefully, I'll be able to leave now. But no matter, like when he gets up to the terminal, he'll say, I can't go through there with these shoes on. I need a different pair of shoes. Oh God, move, damn you! You're going the wrong way. Thank you. 